Good afternoon and welcome to my daily chat. I think this time it's working. I did see the other ones, so you don't know what I'm talking about, so let me continue on. Um, welcome to episode 564. <laughs> Behind the scenes stuff, another story. Um, episode number 564 and the topic today is women and purpose. This one's going to be interesting. Um, anyway, before I get into that, let me choose myself so you know who I am or what I'm about. My name is Barry Selby. I am a best-selling author speaker and relationship attraction expert and I help strong successful women high performing women and high achieving women create balance in love life and business I'm also a passionate champion of the divine feminine which is why to today's topic is particularly relevant and for the last well for over two years now I've been doing these Facebook lives and for a little bit less than two years I've been doing this every day called messages, messages from the masculine to inspire your feminine heart and these Facebook lives by the way in case you're watching on YouTube I'll get to that later on um, and this is now episode 564 and the topic today is women and purpose and I'm realizing that I've not really talked about this except like in a sideways like a, like a sideways glance but the truth is I want to talk about this now because I had a conversation with a, a new client today a prospective client today and it hit me after we finished this thing it didn't hit me during the call which is interesting but it hit me after the call um, and it's like so so obvious. So let me let me just, I'm, I'm I'm talking around it. Let me talk about it. Or talk talk at it with it in it, of it. You know what that sort of stuff. So many women have been meeting, friends, clients, peers in this arena. Are having challenges finding love and relationships, and part of it right, I'm losing more and more. Which I I thought I talked about, but I don't, I'm looking back and I don't remember when I have talked about this. Is because there's this. I'm going to say this. Okay, let me talk about men first, the masculine men. The masculine man, as we've talked about many times before, because I learned this lesson the hard way and the right way eventually, about 10 years ago, is a masculine man, man's purpose comes before his relationship. And in fact, a man must find his purpose if he wants to have a healthy relationship. That's a, that's a door, it's a, it's a, um, what's the word looking for? It's a gateway, like a gateway drug, but a gateway access to a healthy relationship is to find your purpose first. So for ladies, for women out there, it's not the same thing. However, it's as important that women know why they're here. And of course, I've talked about this, I think, but maybe just in here, not out here. So I'm saying it out loud now. One of the biggest challenges women face right now in the world, who are particularly entrepreneurial women who live in their own world and are busy building their business and their life in, world, in, the, in, in their world, is there's this little tape playing in the background from many, many, many generations ago that basically tells women they should be looking for a man to take care of them. And this is a, it's like, this is a crash in consciousness, so to speak. Because that on one hand, women have been trained over culture for many decades that they should find a man to take care of them and he'll do all the work and he'll lead and things stay at home. Which is not the way the world is. It was the way the world was 50 years ago, 60 years ago, but not anymore. But at the same time, a lot of women around the world acting, that's not the word I want to use, competing with men in business, doing things in the business world, making things happen, getting results, and basically having really challenging relationships or having no relationship because they're being challenged by relationship. The challenges for women, I believe, and yes, I'm a man saying this, so I know it's a belief, not a proof, but I believe for a lot of women, it's the challenge of that they've learned, as I said before, to embody masculine traits to succeed in the business world, which means when they get to a relationship, they forget to take those off. And I'll get to purpose in a moment because it ties this, this together. So I've said this before that for a lot of women out there, remembering their feminine heart is the way to be in the right place for a relationship without giving up their power, authority, or leadership. So there's a couple of things working here. The old tape playing that you should be giving that up to be in a relationship. The second part is that when women remember their feminine, they can attract a relationship but don't give up their power. Not the same as the old one. And third is they end up copying the men too much and don't know how to be in a relationship with a man. Should No, let me rephrase that. Don't have the space to be in a relationship with a man. Be careful how I say these things. Because they are so driven to succeed and work and achieve because they're driven by purpose. What I should have said in the title is feminine women and purpose because I want to explain that because I'm, I'm going to speak more about this. Because women, a lot of women in the entrepreneurial field or in business leadership are basically using the skills they learned by copying the men because the men have been doing it for generations. Women coming to this um, arena later have basically had to sort of join in the game the way it's being played. 
Now, what I'm suggesting, by the way, this is my secret message, is that ladies, it's time to change the game in your favor, because right now it's not working that way. One of the ways that's going to shift is recognizing that your purpose and your calling does not have to be the sole thing you do before you have a relationship. In fact, and this is going to be the, I'm going to go to one more thing. For many women, actually having a relationship will help them clarify, focus, and actually achieve their purpose. Now, having said that, it won't happen easily unless you're in a relationship with the right sort of man that understands this. And this is the dance a lot of women are dealing with, is that finding a relationship with a man is challenging because most men they've been attracting or been going out with or feeling called to be with don't respect and honor their purpose, respect and honor women's purpose. And that's an error in approach. And it's not, fair, it's not fair for the women either, to be honest. So for me, I'm putting this message out in a way to say, one, for the men watching this, um, our world depends upon women. We men not only should, but for our very sake of future and, and life itself, must in, have women in their role of leadership, in purpose, in strength, and we must support them. That's, that's, that's it, period. Ladies, finding your way into your purpose is a big calling, I understand. I mean, for us men, it's a challenge too. The thing for us men, though, is... We are much better at doing things one at a time, one thing at a time, being linear, directive, focused, and um, target oriented. Ladies, when you do that, though, you're in the masculine too much. It doesn't serve you ultimately, especially in a relationship. So, finding the way that you have, which is a gift women you have as a feminine woman, is to be able to better have more than one thing in your sights at the same time, so to speak. So, you could be looking at relationship and you could be looking at your purpose without them. Um, eclipsing the other that's a good word and so the recognition is for you ladies that you have an, an advantage over us men in this sense you have a lot of advantage actually but men don't want to let you know that but I will <laughs> as you may be watching my raw gas you have faced the challenge of men sorry Karen you have faced the challenge of men being envious of you seeing as competition I totally understand because Honestly, men are competitive. They're, they're, they're challenged by men who are in the same arena as them as well. Men are basically, that's the thing. We as men are challenging each other. We're always in the place of being envious of other men who, do, who have, what we, we have what we don't have. So when a woman has that, it's even more challenging. So I totally understand how you feel, Karen. That's, that's unfortunate and that's, unpro that's something that hopefully with part of this message and other things going out, that other things being brought forward in the world, we can change the culture because it needs to change. And... The, the most challenging thing for men is going to be seeing women do better at their work than they do. It's going to be something that's going to happen. It's going to, there's going to be a tipping point eventually it's going to happen because more and more women are stamping out into the world, living in their entrepreneurial spirit, in the leadership, in their feminine power, and it is a power. And the majority of men are not ready for it. There's going to be a sea change. It's going to happen. And so part of this is for women who really claim and own their purpose to um, to fully express your gifts in the world. And I'll say this as a <laughs> encouragement, is there are men out there who will understand, respect and honor that and you and be totally a, a support of that. Um, mm. I watched it happen the other way around in a recent um, experience. I was telling a friend of mine about this last uh, Saturday night. Saturday night about a, 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 um, a couple I know in leadership that have been going through a divorce and there's been rumors about well he cheated on her and that sort of stuff but the truth is I believe is that in the relationship he's been in front for a long time out there in the world leading speaking teaching being being a powerful leader which is amazing and she was supporting him the whole time and being that go-to person for him However, as she's been going to her own leadership, stepping out, speaking, leading, and being in front of the audience, he wasn't backing her up. So it wasn't both ways, and it was a missing piece. And I strongly believe, despite any apparent physical dalliance, cheating, whatever was going on, if there was any, that was the underlying reason why they separated, why they'd broken up, and why they divorced. And this is the thing, is that when women wake up to their power, their authority, their purpose, if they're in a relationship, if they're married, unless the partner gets it, understands it, and supports them, 
and divorce may be inevitable. Maybe, and say it will be, it may be. And this is the challenge, if you're single, you may be thinking, well, there's no point being in a relationship then. It's like, no, I'm not saying that. Being clear about who you are, and this is the thing, the more authentic you are, the more in integrity you are, the more aligned to your true calling you are, the clearer it's gonna be when you meet a man who's gonna appreciate that, because when men come show up in your life who don't appreciate that, you'll see them clear as a bell. And you'll go, uh, no thank you. But when you get clear who you are, what you're about, and what your calling is, then when you meet a man who sees and honors that, you'll feel it, you'll know right off the bat. One of the keys of you, your power, with ladies and your feminine, is that intuitive sense, that gut level that knows stuff better than we can think. Something we can learn, something we men can learn from. So I think I've given some points. This this is going to be a bigger conversation than this. This is a starting point, planting some seeds. And one thing I'll say this as well, by the way, because um, I was thinking about this before I did the broadcast. I have, I do have a. Um, discover your purpose type exercise that I, was, I taught in a workshop seven years ago, six, seven years ago, at least. If you are interested, if you're not sure about what your purpose is and you want to get some help and clarity on what that is, uh, send me a message over social media or drop me an email. My email is barry at barryselby.com. Send me an email and I'll send you that PDF back as a gift. You can you can use it and try it out and see for yourself. So that's that's my service to you because to, to teach you how to find your purpose, there's more to it than that, but that's a starting point. That, that little exercise is a self-reflective process that will help you get some clarity. If you want to go deeper than that, I can help you with that as well, but it's not something I can really explain over the video, be more interactive. So with that, I think I've made my point. Um, give you some seeds to think about, give you some choices. I do invite you to share it with other people if you think there might be a benefit to them, women and men, because it could wake up some men, wake up some women, everybody could win. Um, and there's more to it than this that's coming, so maybe another, maybe part two will be tomorrow, I'm not sure. But this is starting the conversation, so I hope this, this is giving you some food for thought. Ladies, we need you in your, living your purpose, too, definitely. We need men living our purpose. We need all of us living our purpose because so many people, men and women, are absent to their purpose and it's not helping anybody. So we as a generation, not even that, we as a culture, we as a race of people, men and women, the more we live our true calling, our purpose, our heart's desire in the world, the more we can transform the planet the way it's going to be doing that. Karen, another question. So it's same as it's frustrating meeting seemingly endless numbers of men so easily emasculated. Yeah, mm. I've talked about this before, but you're right, absolutely. This is one of the challenges. Excuse me a second. <coughs> okay, one of the challenges of this culture is men aren't waking up to their true calling yet, and so Karen, as you said, and it's not it's not a new, uh, not a isolated incident. Many women who are living in their masculine are scary men is their feminine, being emasculated basically. I was one of those men, so I understand how it feels. The challenge is, and I'll say it to you Karen, but also to other women who might be watching this, the challenge is how do you find your way back into your feminine when you're actually on dates and going and meeting men so that it doesn't emasculate them? Because the thing about it is, what, what I believe it to be is that when masculine energy is present in one partner or the other partner, it doesn't fit in both very easily because it becomes too combative. So when a woman is in her masculine and she meets a man she can dominate him and he can actually he can he can uh be supplicant to that subservient to that he, he emasculated for a man to be in his uh, actually that's not no let me say another way because i realize this is the thing when a man's in his masculine that doesn't happen when a man's in his masculine a woman is a masculine he gets it and he just and stands clear because when we know who we are as men masculine men we can hold the truth and hold the space that doesn't have to impact or be proven the men that you're meeting who are emasculated are men who are ego-driven. They're macho-based. A macho cannot stand up to masculine, period. Whether it's in another man or in a woman. So, what, Karen, what I would say you know, you're doing is you're meeting these men who are not in their masculine, their true heart, their purpose-driven life, and so they have no defense against your power. That's a good thing, the bad thing, depending on how you look at it. But that, is, that may become another chat for tomorrow I want to keep this to the to the topic at hand but I think that gives you some food for thought but Karen yeah we talked about this before I know and and I feel you there are men out there who will understand this is the, and this in a way this can be a litmus test when you meet men who don't back down but also don't try to fight you you might find a masculine man and truth is the man who's finding his calling in life who's living his work in a way in the world will be someone who has that gift already built in, built in so let me see what you said there Karen 
So you've also been judged for being too feminine in the dating world. I truly want to meet generally masculine men. Karen, I agree with you. You're absolutely right. You deserve to meet generally masculine men. There are some of them out there, although to be honest, the dating world or the dating apps, for example, it's hard to see them because you're dealing with a picture and some words which doesn't give you anything. You've got to feel into the men to know. And if you're being too feminine in the dating world, you've got some really bad men, really weak men you're meeting because a man who really knows who he is would be dying to meet you and you're feminine. So I hope that helps because for me, that's the thing. More women, please be in your feminine, especially in the dating world. That would be a gift to the men who wake up and hopefully it is waking men up because the dating, dating world, well, uh, that's a whole other conversation. I'm, I'm trying to stay to the topic, please. But Karen, I appreciate where you're coming from and I feel you. And if you want to talk further, let's talk. We can talk again. Um, but I feel you definitely. There's a definite disconnect going on in the world because men aren't owning their masculine hearts and women haven't been owning their feminine hearts. It's a challenge for both genders. And so, in a way, when you step into your feminine, you're actually stepping into a new arena where there aren't as many people around who know what's going on, unfortunately. I know the same thing true for myself with other men I know who do the masculine work. We are somewhat isolated in the world to speak of because most men are not aware of the masculine, same as most women are aware of the feminine power. So that's for another conversation. But I hope, I hope this idea has spun some seeds to get some things moving again. Please share it with anybody who thinks you should watch this. And I said at the beginning, this is a Facebook Live that goes onto YouTube and in my podcast. I'll give you the links, um, homework assignments. Well, just consider what I said in the talk if this is inspiring to you. Again, if you have questions or you want to um, get that um, purpose revealing exercise, send me a message or send me a, an email to barry at barryselby.com. I'll send it to you as a gift, PDF. Um, I think that's it. Oh, replays. So this is my Facebook Live every day, 5 p.m. Pacific time usually. Goes on to my business page after I finish uh, broadcasting. And that's facebook.com forward slash barryselby.author. You're welcome, Karen. Um, thanks for joining me. And thanks for your input and your questions. It keeps me on track and keeps me present too. So thank you for that. Um, so facebook.com forward slash barryselby.author is my YouTube, is my Facebook page. These also go onto my YouTube channel. If you're watching it there, that's where you found it. Um, go to my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby. Please subscribe to that channel. And the playlist is Messages from the Masculine. And also, I've now got a podcast, which I'm opening up slowly and putting broadcasts into in audio format. So on iTunes, you can find it as Messages from the Masculine. You can subscribe to the channel and download the audio so you can listen to them when you're driving, cycling, doing other things. We can't watch your phone. Um, I think that's it. I'm just thinking there's no real homework I want to give necessarily. But I would love you, love you to think about this and any comments, questions, put them below and I respond when I sign off. Um, and that's it. There may be more of this tomorrow. I'm not sure yet because this has already given me some ideas and thoughts and Karen's input, thank you, has given me some food for thought as well. So with that, um, yeah, I think I'll leave it there. I'll be back in tomorrow, maybe part two, we'll see. And definitely offering support. And if you have questions, or if, actually, if you have any topics you want me to talk about, send me a message over Facebook or over, over YouTube and I will consider them for tomorrow. So thank you for watching once again. I will see you again tomorrow at 5 p.m. Pacific time. Same time, same bat channel. Take care of yourselves. Bye.